All right, hi everybody. So I know that I've been gone for a little bit of time. Short story, basically the puppy chewed the computer cord. So you will see that in one of the videos coming up. Um, we had to wait for a computer cord to be delivered from Canada to Norway, which is why it took so much time. Anyways, we're going to be posting the videos that I have been doing um, kind of in order. So hopefully we'll eventually catch up. So thank you for being patient with us and I hope you enjoy the vlog. Timber, you gonna go potty bud? You're crying in the car. This is what we are dealing with. So we are heading to a conference of sorts. Um, my job has a conference and I didn't plan to go because I have a puppy, but apparently they really wanted me to go and they got me a dog friendly room. So Timber is having his first outing. And what do you think, bud? So far in the car ride, you've been okay, but you were crying. So we stopped to think maybe he needed to go poop. Can you go potty? Come on, dude, you can do it. Anyways, so we'll see how it goes. We have about an hour left of driving. I am a bit disheveled because this morning it was really difficult to get out with him and pack the car and everything. I wanted to film, but I forgot. So here we are at a beautiful lake, um, starting everything out. So we'll see how the rest of the trip goes. Timber. Did I just go for lunch? You guys, I just came back from lunch. Little mister is sleeping underneath the table. <laughs> Look at what I walked into. <laughs> uh, he grabbed the extra toilet paper roll and shredded it. I would expect nothing less. Hi, mister. You're so funny. So this is the um, room that I was put in. So we've just got a little fridge, a little dude who's taking a nap, a couch, nice little uh, window, and then classic Scandinavia, two beds. Um, and then I've got his little bed right here in the corner that I brought in. So I think we're gonna take a nap. Hopefully I'll be able to um, take him on a walk somewhere around here. It's actually a really beautiful place. We're in Trisil, which is a ski resort. Obviously it's a summer, so it's um, mostly known for like, I, I think mountain biking, but I can't mountain bike with him. So we're just gonna try and find a little trail, maybe go on a little adventure, tire him out, and then hopefully I can drop him off in the room for a couple of hours because I've got bowling tonight for an hour and then a dinner um right after that so hopefully he'll be fine he seems fine in here though besides the shredding of the um toilet paper roll but i'll make sure that those things are up high and i don't have to worry about that so anyways i'm gonna have a nap and then we'll see where the day takes us we having fun with our food bowl that was so cute he just walked right past me with it timmy is that your food bowl are you hungry i should probably feed you this is the hotel. Very nice. Come on, dude. Hi, everybody. So it's about 10.30 at night. This little guy is wide awake. Uh, so I left him for about four hours because I had a um, event that I had to go to and then a dinner. And of course the dinner went super long. So poor little guy, when I got back, he was so, so desperate to go outside, <laughs> but he didn't pee in this area. So I'm really proud of him. He drug his water bowl and his food bowl into his bed. So he didn't have any water anymore. Uh, so one thing about him, he likes to pick up his dishes, which the, the food bowl that I have back at home works really well for that because he can't like pick up pick it up but these portable ones he can just lift up and he loves to just run around with them in, in his mouth so I'm gonna go to bed because I'm tired but it's a successful day so far no accidents in the hotel and a lot of people have stopped to say hi to him so he's gotten a lot of socialization today and yeah tomorrow we're gonna head back 
Good morning. We're on our walk. You tell Timmy in the morning, but there's been some things that have happened, so I will tell you guys in just a second when we get back to the room. So we're back in the room now, and he's got some food. I have changed into something that's a little more like summery because it is so hot that I can't even, I can't bear it outside. Um, so what happened last night is I went to bed and I was hearing like little noises and I didn't really think too much about it. And then I woke up at 3.30 in the morning to let him out to go potty and this is what I found. So he had chewed through my computer cord multiple places. So there's like right there too, all along there. And what stopped him is he actually wound up pulling this part off of the couch and it slammed on the ground and he got scared. So there goes my computer cord. So probably videos are gonna be delayed a little bit with uploading because I obviously have lost my ability to charge my computer. So I have to get my second charger sent from Canada all the way to Norway. So it is what it is, but I can't believe how much my Lenovo computer has gone through with Aussies because Aspen as well, um, she broke a charger by playing and the computer was plugged in. She wound up running between the, um, the wire and the computer and she snapped the plug-in into the computer straight off of the charger. So I wound up ordering one and then that order didn't ever like seem to come through. And so then I ordered a second one, which is the one that arrived. And then the first order arrived like three months later. So maybe it's just meant to be that I have an extra charger back in Canada, but it'll probably take a couple of weeks for me to be able to actually do anything on the computer now so this little dude is quite active yeah you've been pretty good though besides that so he hasn't chewed anything in the room so far uh, and i hope that it stays that way so i have breakfast and then i think we're gonna head on the road because i'm very tired he woke up at 3 30 and he really didn't want to go back to bed so he was just playing with his toys and it's hard to sleep through that. So yeah, I think we're gonna head back and maybe stop at a lake on the way and see if we can do some paddle boarding. I did bring my paddle board, but haven't been able to actually use it yet, so. All right, so we've got to this place, which is the little hike that I wanted to do with Timmy. And it was a pain in the butt to get here. It's all gravel road coming up. Um, but we're gonna try to get to the viewpoint. Timmy, are you ready? Ready? Yeah? Taking a little break. We're almost at the top actually, um, but I saw that he was kind of overheating, so we're just gonna take a little break in the shade. Yeah, we're gonna let you just chill. Because you're panting quite a bit. He's only 11 and a half weeks old, so I mean, obviously he can't handle a ton. So it doesn't keep us from going out. It just means that things are a little bit longer. And most of you that have kids can probably relate to that. Everything's like two to three times the length. We made it. Timber. No eating rocks. Dude. No eating rocks, bud. What you doing? Timmy. Timmy. Look at you. Poured some water on him. So he's cool. Oh, good boy. You're a good boy. All right, so we stopped here again so that the little mister, so that the little mister could have a drink of water if he wanted. I got him a little bit wet so that he's nice and cool. What do you think, bud? You ready to keep on going? My glasses. My head is so small that all of the sunglasses that I get do not fit. So we got to the top and you guys saw the view. I just want to make sure that you guys know that uh, 
when we went up, like I didn't let Timber go up on his own. There was a whole bunch of stairs and I carried him to the top. So I would never make him exert himself more than he can. And we had one break in between. It was about a 40 minute hike. So we went 20 minutes, had a really nice long break and then another 20 minutes and then had about a half an hour break at the top. And then now we're coming down, I'll give him a little break. So he is totally fine. See, there's the boy. Come on, Timmy. What do you think? Oh, we need to pee. <laughs> Got back to the car. Yeah, are you tired, bud? Oh, I'm gonna get you some water. Just stopped to check on the little dude. Let's see how he's doing. Oh, have you been sleeping the entire trip? Timmy. How you doing, bud? How you doing, bud? Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> It's beautiful, though.